wish to create a solid in Mastercam. To do that, I'm going to use its solid modeler, and across the top, I'm going to select solids from the drop down menu, and then I'm going to select extrude. The chaining window will open up that you're familiar with in Mastercam. I'm going to switch to construction plane chaining. I want to chain all of my blue geometry here in the top, and I want to extrude the blue geometry the distance of my wireframe geometry, which is three quarters of an inch. I've created lines over lines, so I have a green line under these three blue lines. I want to tell Mastercam to only let me select blue wireframe entities. To do that, I'm going to turn on color masking. So I'll come down to the options, enable color mask, choose the color tab, I'll clear all colors first, then I'll select blue number nine, I'll accept that selection and again I'll accept my chaining options and I'll come out and I'll click on one of my blue entities because I have construction plane chaining turned on it'll chain all entities that touch master cams asking me to select more if I need to extrude more I don't in this case so again I'll accept my selection and master cam solid extrude window will pop up in the advanced tab I can add some draft angle and make it a thin walled part but we're going to stick with basic new to X8 in its solid extrude if I hover over a field it'll give me a description of what to do I also can come out here into the graphics area currently the extrusion is going in the wrong direction the distance of three quarters is correct but I want to reverse it there are several ways to do that I can flip the direction here or I can grab the arrow and I can drag it down and I can also snap to my geometry here as soon as I click on that endpoint it'll reverse the direction and it'll pick up the three-quarter depth once I'm happy with this I can apply it and continue on using the command or I can e exit the command and say OK there will also be a solid tab at it over here showing me what solids I have and I can expand the tree and I can edit my solids from here. So I've now created this purple solid cube that's three quarter inches of thick and I can turn the shading of the solid on and off by pressing the Alt and S key. It just toggles them on and off.